What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good Thursday to you, and it's a good Thursday for Indiana Fever rookie, Caitlin Clark. To no surprise, she was named WNBA's Rookie of the Year on Thursday. That's right. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Clark started all 40 regular season games for the Indiana Fever this season. She was, again, the number one pick of the Indiana Fever back in April. And, oh, by the way, she was almost a unanimous pick for that award. She received 66 of the 67 votes from the national media panel. The other vote went to another pretty damn good woman baller by the name of Angel Reese, Chicago Sky's number seven draft pick so she got the other rookie of the year of uh, rookie of the year vote and i'm sure that right there somebody's gonna be putting their magnifying glass gonna try to figure out who was that one media person that voted for angel reese i guarantee you that's gonna be a story by somebody but i ain't going there because it's not a story that's just my opinion now clark again had a great year uh the fever did go 20 and 20 they finished sixth in the league. They made the playoffs. I think it was their first time making the playoffs since 2016. Uh, Caitlin averaged 19.2 points uh, this season, 8.4 assists, 5.7 rebounds, and 1.3 steals. Uh, she was first in the league with three-pointers made with 122 of them. Them three-pointers, she also was seventh overall in the league in scoring, and she was the first rookie. In WNBA history to record a triple-double, she had dose of them, two of them. Her 337 assists set a WNBA single-season record, and she had a single-game record of 19 assists against the Dallas Wings in July. She also set a rookie season mark with 769 points made. So again... To no one's surprise, I think this had been leaked even a couple of days ago, but it wasn't official, but it was official today on Thursday. The WNBA named Caitlin Clark, double C, Rookie of the Year. And uh, I, I, in my opinion, I, I thought she was going to win it, even hands down. Even after Angel Reese missed the, what, the last six games with an injury, I thought Caitlin Clark was going to win it, and she deserves it. And, I, you know, I, I'm not going to go back and forth with this 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 narrative now that that's been created i think by the national media it, it's not caitlin clark versus angel reese I, I think both of those young ladies they bring something totally different to the game their games are totally different but i will say the controversy has created the eyeballs has created uh the uh the, the excitement for the wnba and no one's denying caitlin clark has put people in the seats Pretty much every one of her games, whether home or away, were sold out. No doubt. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Numbers don't lie. Matter of fact, even the playoff game that she appeared in, the playoff series, uh, I think the, the average viewership was 1.8 million. But since Indiana has been eliminated, the viewership has, has dipped a little bit. It's like 929,000 that's viewed it. But, and that's still great. Still good numbers, but there's no denying. Double C brings, she's brought attention to the game. Uh, but I think that's a good thing because also now you're seeing other women ballers now getting attention because of the spotlight that has been shown on Caitlin Clark. And I, quite frankly, I think she's handled the pressure quite well. Uh, you know, there's there's been a lot of knuckleheads on social media in the comments. They want to they want to keep baiting this race thing. Obviously, that is part of it. We know that we've seen this before with Magic Johnson and Larry Bird when they first came into the league. But I think social media is now it, uh, we didn't have social media then, so it was a little different. Now, man, you got knuckleheads just want to say whatever they want to say. But here's my thing, and I always say this: you can you can like one player over another one but you ain't got to slight the other one to bring the player you like up just 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 dig who you did don't go after these other young ladies calling them jealous well i think that's the national media that's that's did most of that saying that they were jealous of Caitlin clark that's that's some of the narrative that's been pushed by some of these national media uh spokes uh sports opinionists and and, and quite frankly could some of the women be jealous quite possibly that's a human. That's a human feeling. I'm sure it's some men in the athletics in the pro level. I'm sure they jealous of LeBron. 
won't say it, but I'm sure that that's just natural. So it's not that big of a deal. But again, Caitlin Clark, I, I, I think she definitely deserves the rookie of the year. She also made first team WNBA all rookie team. Uh, I don't know if the all pro team has been out, has been uh, announced yet, but I'm quite sure she'll probably be on that team as well. But again, uh, what she has brought to the women's game, it, it has brought, it has shown the light on a lot of the other players that I actually knew about because I watched it. Now, now we got some of the casuals, a lot of the CC fans, a lot of the Angel Reese fans, and all those. Now they they are looking at these women and say, you know what, these young ladies, these women can ball. So again, uh, again, Kaylin Clark wins WNBA Rookie of the year like to know what you guys think about that are you surprised probably not but i like to know your thoughts talk to me in the comments like the video subscribe to the channel click that follow button i'm kendrick the sports guy we will see you on the other side and on the next report i am out peace